Okay, pardon the, the lighting and whatnot, uh, you know, uh, out in the shop. And, okay, so I've been uh, watching a few things on uh, Twitter, Facebook, stuff like that. And I'm actually getting really pissed off. I'm getting pissed off because of AOC. Uh, she made, what, what is it now, two trips to the southern border and she deems herself uh, the all-knowing, all-powerful uh, master of the universe when it comes to the southern border. I live near the southern border. I, literally, it's, it, it's literally a couple hundred miles that way. Like, just a couple hundred. I think it's like 200, 200 and something miles or something like that. But literally, I can hop in the car and be down there before dark. And it's already 510 here. Uh, she She's saying children are dying at the border. Yeah, they're dying because they came here sick. Their parents or somebody that their parents gave them to are traveling thousands of miles, dragging a sick child to our country where they demand free health care and free this, free that. It's a, it's a whole fucking mess. It's pissing me off because she made two trips down to the border. She went to one place, which was a fucking parking lot, she didn't actually go and see any kids or anything. It was a parking lot for a detention center. And like they park there, they get on a bus and they drive like 50 miles down the road to the detention center. There's nobody there. It's just border patrol agents protecting the facility for them. The second time she went, she refused to go inside. She went into the office area, yelled at some people, and then stormed out. She made up a bunch of false claims, and she's, she's saying, asylum seekers aren't breaking the law. There's no law being broken. You cannot arrest them. Yes, 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 you can. The asylum rule is you go to a port of entry, a port of entry. You go to a port of entry, and you say, I'm here to seek asylum. You file paperwork, you go through the spiel, and then you come back when you have your court date set. That's how it works. You don't go and sneak across the border in the middle of the night or run across the border in herds of a thousand. And then when you're caught, say, oh, I'm here for asylum. No, if you want asylum, you go to the, the facility down the road. That's how it works. You don't bum rush the fucking border. You don't cut a hole in the fence and climb through. You're here for asylum? Do it the right fucking way. When you crossed over that border outside of a, of a checkpoint, you broke the law. AOC doesn't understand this. She doesn't understand that when they cross the, the border like that, it's a federal crime. Hence why they're being detained. Now, like has been pointed out before, when they break the law, they are separated from their children. If I commit a crime, I will be separated from my child. If she commits a crime she is separated from her child they don't when they okay when you get arrested do they take your child and put them in a cell with you no there are women and children together in cells there is photo proof of it when when a lot of people are getting tested and they're like okay this kid doesn't belong to this guy that brought him over these seven kids don't belong to this lady that brought them here. That is what they're doing. They separate the criminals from the children, and then they do testing to make sure the child is that person's child. If there's no relation, then flags are thrown up. 
When they cross over the border, it is a crime. Like it or not, you break the law, you go to jail. These people are breaking the law in droves, you know, tens of thousands at a time. Because people like AOC and the Democrats are saying, hey, come here, come in. We don't give a shit. You can do whatever you want. We'll put you in your own corner. That's what, that's what they're doing. Literally, you have sanctuary cities where they are putting brown people and saying, you stay there. We'll come get you when we need you. That's their form of segregation. That is literally democratic segregation. And they're saying to these people, you stay here. It's okay that you're here illegally. We'll give you everything that you need. In California, there's all these kinds of, uh, you know, sanctuary cities. They voted, they voted against housing and extra funds for homeless people who are littering their streets. Literally miles of road are nothing but homeless tents, people living in the streets, shitting in the streets, pissing in the streets. There are people that are breaking into buildings to find a shelter to sleep at night. The Democrats said, no, we are not funding them. They can go out and get a job if they want to. Then they turn around and vote for housing and assistance, cash assistance, food assistance for people here illegally because it's the humane thing to do. Okay, it's humane to give somebody who isn't even supposed to be here money, housing, food, jobs, but it's inhumane or it's, it's, it's just not something that you want to do when it's your own fucking citizens. AOC has a huge district. Her district is just crumbling down. It's a clusterfuck of crap. She took jobs away from her own people, saying that it's better this way. We don't need them. You don't need that job that pays $15 an hour minimum. Any position, whether you're the janitor and you're just starting out, or you're a new trainee, you start out at $15 an hour. She said, fuck you to 25,000 jobs for her district. And then she turns around and says that Republicans are, are getting rid of jobs. No. See, here's the thing. When, uh, when you say that there's a bunch of buildings, like there's all these manufacturers for say this tool right here, this Dremel. There's multiple people that make this. What happens? I can get this exact same fucking thing from a different maker for a 10th of the price I paid for this one. Same thing goes for healthcare. Same thing goes for healthcare. Multiple coverage, coverages, multiple places offer the same thing. But they fight for more people because those numbers of people buying in increase their profit margin. The more people they get, the, the more profit they make, the more profit they make, the lower their price. They lower their prices because they want to have the more, pe more people. That's how it works. That's how business works. When you have something and somebody else has it, you lower your price just a little bit because then you draw in business. That business comes in, you make more money because you're selling more. The more you sell, the more you make. If you price yourself out of business, I see it all the time. There's all these tactical things that you see online and then it's like $157, $500. It's a bag. And it's $288, but it says tactical, so you have to spend that. But then again, I can get the same exact thing on Amazon for 20 bucks. Hell, my bag that I got that I was telling you guys about before, that thing cost me like 40 bucks. The exact same thing from this tactical outfitter that I saw on, on uh, I think it was Facebook, 
I think it was one of those Facebook ads, you know, the, oh, this here, you, you, you got to get it. Yeah, it was some, oh, veteran owned business, but it was like 680 bucks for a fucking backpack. I went online, got the same exact thing from China. It's made in China. Yeah, I fucking get it. It's made in China, but it's the exact same thing because I looked into that other company, that other company, all they do is slap their logo on it and say, boom, it's ours. It, literally, I, I shit you not, I watched a video on YouTube about the backpack and they showed the inside. The inside had the exact same label as mine. The exact same thing. The product number, the product number, same exact fucking number. But I, I paid, I paid a shit ton less. Same thing goes for health coverage. Doctors. The more there are of something that is like a specialty, the lower the price is gonna be. Because you can't you you can't have all that competition and charge a boatload. Because yeah, you'll sell three, four, five of them and you'll make a lot of money. But that other guy down the street, he sells the exact same thing for a fraction of the price, but he's selling hundreds and hundreds of them. And now he's surpassed you in the monthly gain and he has repeat business. People will buy five, six, seven of them. They'll give them out to friends. You got a health coverage? Okay, you got family health coverage. It's cheaper than what it was before. Now, the coverage that was from Obama, when, when they did Obamacare thing, and I had to do coverage through my employer, it cost me $1,800 a month. $1,800 a month to cover just myself for vision, dental, and health. Vision, dental, and health, 1800 bucks a month. I was floating practically broke because that's the only coverage that I could get through my company. When I wanted to go for local health coverage, I couldn't because nobody in this state did that kind of health coverage. Then again, the health coverage from my own company doesn't work in this state because it's only for Colorado, because it's a Colorado-based company. But their health coverage is accepted in like six different states because of Obamacare. Now, Obamacare's out of the way. My company's health insurance covers me now. It covers me in my state. It also covers me in Nevada now. It still doesn't cover me in California, but then again, nothing covers you in California unless you came here illegally. But seriously, this whole border patrol thing is bullshit because AOC doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. She's a bartender and a bad one at that. She wants, she's like, oh, I'm crying. Look at this, all these kids. Okay, they're calling for open borders. We're not going to be a country if we don't allow immigrants. They're not immigrants. They're not. To immigrate somewhere, there is a legal process. They are trespassers. They are criminals. When they come here and they run from police and hide, they are not immigrants. I know several immigrants. My fucking cousin is an immigrant. He... <clears throat> he came here legally. That's that's his thing. He came here legally. I've got I've got fucking a bunch of family from from other countries. They all came here legally. That that's just how it is. This whole border thing is bullshit. They want open borders. They want health coverage. They want funding for all these legal, illegal immigrants. They're talking a hundred billion dollars. And for what? They're not helping citizens. They're not thinking about the country, the people that are already here. They want to bring in more people. 
the thing is, is how how do you bring all these people in? What 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 do you get out of it? They're getting presidency. They're getting votes. Yeah, there was a whole bunch of shit because guess what? If you ask for for a voter ID, you're racist. You're racist. Voter ID, you're racist because black people can't get them. Black people can't get driver's licenses and shit like that. No, you can. All you got to do is go to DES, say, hey, I don't have an ID. I don't have money for it. I'm broke. They give you a voucher. You go to the freaking DMV or the MVD, whatever it's called in your state, and you get an ID. Costs like seven bucks. They give you a fucking voucher for, for it. And then you're set. Homeless people can get them too. All they have to do is provide the DES uh, address. Then, here's the best part. Here's, here's the part that, that kicks me in the fucking teeth. They always say that they don't want voters to be identified. Well, you've got places where it's just all illegal immigrants. And they all go and they have their own voting booth. They have their own voting station. They can vote. They, they want open borders. They don't want voter ID. You had, you had fucking Beto O'Rourke go down to Mexico for his political campaign. It's like, okay, you're going to bring all these people up. Doesn't matter if they're citizens or not. They can vote as long as they, as long as they walk in and say, hey, I'm voting. Here in my, here in my state, when you vote, you have to show your ID. You literally have to show your fucking ID. And then they they go off your, your, your information. Then you can go in and vote. It's a two-part process. You go in, you, you talk to the guy, you show him your ID, he runs your information, you, you swipe your, your thumbprint, and then you go and vote. That way they know that it's only voters, it's only citizens that are voting. And you know what? We don't have issues. We don't have those issues. That stuff's, that stuff's not, not an issue here. It really isn't. But it is everywhere else because voter IDs are, are racist. It doesn't matter what race you are. If you're fucking broke, all you got to do is go down to the DES or DMV. I mean, seven bucks. And it's good for a few years. Don't tell me that, that it, well, black people can't get it. Mexicans can't get it. Brown people, Chinese. It doesn't fucking matter. There... Literally, it is, it, there is no thing on the planet that tells you that you can't get an ID. It's you that are holding yourself back. Don't say a Republican is racist for wanting voter ID because you're the only one bringing race into it. That's you. That's you are bringing race into the argument. It's bullshit. It's a cop-out. And... I don't trust anybody. I don't trust anybody that, that's that's up in the offices right now. I mean, you you got you got Pelosi, you got Ilhan Omar, you got fucking AOC. AOC's dumb as box of hair. She doesn't know a fucking thing that she's talking about. But then somehow she's like, oh, I'm I'm the all all knowing person here. She argued with that one dude and called him a racist in that little court date thing, and she's like. You're, you don't want this to happen, and, and this is your paperwork. You wrote this. And he goes, no, I didn't write it. But you signed it, didn't you? Yeah, I signed it, but it, it's one of several. But you wrote it. No, he didn't. Somebody else wrote up a whole bunch of different things, and they all signed off on the different ideas for it. And then you're trying to push it all on him. He's been down there. He's worked there for like fucking 30 years. And you're saying you know more about it because you went there once? Fuck you, you dumbass. AOC needs to be fucking fired. She needs to be taken out of office because she doesn't fucking belong there. Not because she's a woman. Not because she's a person of color. But because she's a fucking retard. And, and that's, you know, you might say, oh, that's rude to say. That's, that's hate speech. No, she's fucking stupid. She, she, she is missing like the entire bag of, of assembly parts. I mean, they're, they're, it's not parts are missing. It's not a screw loose. She's missing the entire bag that puts the shit together. 
it, it, it's just she's just fucking stupid. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She's playing on fears every day. Every day she posts a new picture of herself doing something or crying. All she is is after the Instagram photos. When she did that that standing up, she was doing that because she wanted to get the pictures. She didn't have to do that. Nobody did. She was the only one in that entire room that was sworn in. It's not even a court thing. They had to go find somebody to swear her in. They had to find somebody to do it because she's the only one that wanted to. Well, it's not necessary. Well, I want to do it because it's, it's only right. And you're only an idiot. Shut the fuck up. Go home. Or go to the fucking building your daddy bought you because you couldn't afford rent. Well, well I, I came from humble beginnings and my parents were poor and I lived in a poor neighborhood. Bitch, you fucking lived in a mansion. You had a butler. You had a fucking chauffeur. You had a personal chef. You, you were in, in private school. You got fucking chauffeured to goddamn school and a guy in a funny hat opened the door for you. You had a personal chef until you were 17. And then you went out on your own and worked at a bar. But you didn't show up to work on time, but you still wanted to split the tips. You got fired from working at all these jobs and you couldn't afford rent and you cried to daddy and daddy came over and bought the fucking entire building. You didn't pay rent, but everybody else's rent went sky high because your daddy had to give you the money. You fucking dumb bitch. God, it fucking pisses me off. It pisses me off that she's so smug and she thinks she's so smart. Say, uh, I, I bust my ass. I, I, I work... <laughs> I work 168 hours per paycheck and I get paid every other week. I'm working I'm working 80 84 hours a week. I work, literally I work 84 hours a fucking week and in my downtime I fucking do leather craft, I do videos, I do all kinds of shit. This this woman she went clubbing, she parties she, she calls off a fucking work to go have fun and beer with people. She, she, called off, she called off of work as a congresswoman to go fly down to the border. She snapped pictures, had video taken, and then she went to a fucking retreat. And then she said, well, I toured the entire facility. The, the guards wanted to rape me. You walked in the building and screamed at people and then walked out. You're a fucking dumb bitch. Fucking quit. Nobody likes you. You aren't here for women's rights. You're not here for the colored people. You're not here for anybody but yourself. You, you're, you're making three times the amount I am. And you're still saying that you don't make enough money. You're saying that at $180,000 a year, you can't afford rent. You can't afford to, to live. It's not a living wage. I need more money. Uh, I make it just fine. I have money to spend. I've got like fucking $4,000 saved up. I'm not making that much money. Fuck, you literally said on camera that you can see why people are so happy with taking bribes. Well, if I don't get the raise, I can see why people are taking bribes from the special interests. L listen, you just outed yourself. Now you sit now you're saying that you're if you don't get the raise, you're going to you're going to go and uh, take bribes. Oh, good for you. Now people can in actually investigate you because you implicated yourself in a felony. Good.